So we were talking about the Kirsch equations and stress around a wellbore and everything that we talked about so far was just with respect to uh, vertical wells, okay? And so now we're gonna extend that to arbitrarily deviated wells, which include horizontal wells, right, okay? So when we talk about these angles, I'll show you where how horizontal well uh, shows up. So um, part of the reason when we did the stress resolution on faults, we, there, you, mu you might have wondered why we had to go through all those rotation matrices. If you're sort of good at geometry, you could have seen when you did the stress rotation, the, the fault resolution, that you could actually just resolve it quite easily just using geometry and just go straight to the fault. Um, if you didn't, and you, you know, if you, if you recognize that, you might wonder, well, why is he making us do all these rotation matrices? So if you didn't recognize it, then that's fine. But the sort of answer to that is, well, when you do these, you have to do it via rotation matrices. So uh, that was just a stepping stone, and, and you've, you'll, you've already written some code that you can use, now reuse, uh, when we talk about arbitrary deviated wells. So um, again, you have some some principal stresses that are arbitrarily oriented. Except one of them is vertical, right? So you have some principal stresses that are arbitrarily oriented, and then we define this geographic frame, right? So it was like north, east, and down. Right? And so we can take those principal stresses and we can rotate them into this geographic frame. And then when we were doing stress resolution of faults, we went from the geographic frame onto the fault. Now we're going to go from that geographic frame into the wellbore, okay? And so in this wellbore frame, what you'll have is some, it's, it's drawn as ZB over here, right? So some line that is, goes axial down the wellbore, okay? And the angle between that and vertical, I'm sorry, the angle between that and, yeah, and vertical is just phi. Right? And so in, in this case, it's, that's the angle between down in our geographic frame and this geographic. And you can see if this phi is 90, then you have a horizontal, completely horizontal well. So then the other, the other angle that matters is this little delta angle here. And that's, that's the angle of the azimuth of the toe of the well. Right? It's the angle of the azimuth of the toe, you know, azimuth of the well with respect to north. Right? So, um, you know, if, you, if, I, if, if I actually say how to well bore, I'm drawn here that along this direction. If I then project that into the plane of north and east, wherever that falls, in this case, uh, imagine it's, it's directly under the east axis as I have it drawn, then the angle delta is 90. So that's, as I have it drawn, that's delta. Okay. So, We'll look at, we'll derive the rotation matrices, and th the first one we're going to look at is delta, okay? So delta is in the plane of north and east, or in the plane of the sur surface of the earth, right? So it's in this plane. So what we're going to do is take a projection like we're, s like we're looking down on it. So imagine we're, we're up here and we're going to look down on it, and I'll draw what the axes are. So 
if this is north and this is east, right? Amber alert. And then I'm going to draw an intermediate coordinate frame. I'll just call it X prime, Y prime. And this angle is delta. Yeah, it's a it's a rotation of, uh, um, yeah, it's about down. Just don't call it alpha because you still need alpha to go from the principal stresses, right? Because you, you need to do both transformations ultimately, right? So we're going to have the, some arbitrarily oriented principal stresses. We'll use alpha, beta, and gamma to take that into the geographic frame. So this could be a, a this is a separate angle because the principal stresses are not going to lie with the with the wellbore in general, right? So x prime is the axis of the azimuth of the wellbore, and so you know just writing down the the transformations between the coordinates, and we've done this several times. So that's like cosine delta x. You know, I'm gonna I'm just going to label this X and this Y. I don't really like to use N and E as axes. Z is into the board, so Z prime is also into the board, down. So then if we, um, we can write that in matrix form. So that's one matrix, rotation matrix, and then now we have our our well bore. It's a cylinder about the Z prime axis. So then you have Y prime, X prime. Now we're gonna tilt the well bore. We're going to rotate it about y prime. So the rotation is about y prime. And it will leave us with a well bore that's tilted. Its center line we'll call ZB for Z of the well bore. <laughs> YB is superimposed with Y prime, and then XB, something like that. And this angle is phi. Right. So then if we write XB in terms of XB, YB, ZB in terms of X prime, Y prime, Z prime, Or in matrix form,
So I'll write it out on another page, but I just want you to see what I'm doing. And right, so we have an exp we have a s expression in terms a matrix expression in terms of x prime, y prime, and z prime, right? So I can take this whole thing and I can plug it in right there right? for x prime, y prime, z prime. So if I if I take this guy and I plug it in with that vector, so then I have a matrix times a matrix times a vector. Right? That gives us a transformation from x, y, and z, which is north, east, and down, into x, b, y, b, z, b, which is in the orbit. So if I do that, I'm just using shorthand, C is cosine, S is sine. That, so that's a transformation. So if we multiply this out, then uh, we're going to call this RG. Right? So RG, uh, if we multiply it out, is that guy. No, it does it absolutely matters, but if you if you see again this is the delta matrix, right? Yeah. And it, it takes us from X, Y, and Z into X prime, right? Yeah. So I just take that and I just put it there. Yeah. Did I write it? Yeah, yeah, okay, I just wrote it wrong. Yeah, you're right. I just copied it down wrong. But what I said the first time is true. Right? Yeah, yeah. Take this thing yeah. and put it there. Yeah. I just copied it down yeah. wrong. Um, so yeah, we should. Yeah. So. Uh, so I don't know how to. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rewrite it, but. Let's uh, indicate that those should be swapped. And, but this is right. I'm, I mean, that's just the derivation. I'm not going to ask you to derive it again. I just want to see, how, see where it came from. Okay. So there it is written out again. And so now we can. Remember, everybody remember what SG is, right? That's the same SG we had before. Right? That's the stress in the geographic coordinate system. So that's the principal stress is rotated into the geographic coordinate system. And then we can rotate into the wellbore via this transformation. Or combining everything, right? So if you have S, where S is just the principal stresses, and then RG is the rotation matrix into the geographic frame, and then RB 
the rotation matrix into the wellbore. 